hello, hello guys. Welcome to my channel. I am Tori Lynn. Let's blossom today. Today I'm going to be filming my current makeup look and I was debating because I have two current makeup looks and I usually go and kind of plan out my videos a little ahead of time and typically I have like one look that's like my current go-to look and right now I have two looks that are kind of like my go-to looks. It's either just a little concealer with some lashes and some powder, throw on a mask, you know, because I'm going out, or it's a full glam fall look because we're in the fall season. I think I'm going to go with the full glam because you guys have seen that concealer look a couple times on my channel now. I think I've done two videos on that look and then it's been in a couple vlogs and that kind of stuff. Um, and although I've done uh, several fall makeup looks that may be a little similar to this, it's still fun to just get glammed up. So I think that's what I'm going to do today. I am going to skip the foundation and all that stuff. I'm going to throw all my base off camera and I'm just going to do the eyes and the bronzer and that kind of stuff with you guys. So you can see what I use, but we don't really need to go through the concealer and foundation portion because that's so boring. You guys have seen it a million times, um, and I'm using the same products I've been using a lot recently. I will show you what I'm gonna use, but I'm not gonna go through the process of putting it on with you guys. So I'm gonna use for my base, my Grace and Stella Say Hi to Hydration Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And then for primer, I've recently started using this again. It is the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer, and I actually do think it helps prolong the wear of my primer with my mask. I don't know if it's because it's mattifying. It helps keep those oils off my nose, which then keep it from rubbing off under my mask or what it is, but it seems to be helping. I mean, it still, um, after a long day at work, does tend to come off, but a quick trip into the store doesn't seem to rub off as much. And then, of course, I'm going to be using my It Cosmetics CC Cream. I wear the shade Fair. This is like my absolute favorite foundation. It has been for a really long time and I just bought a new one so that's why I've been wearing it so much again recently and I've lost pretty much most of my summer tan. This is my non-tan shade so that's why I'm back into wearing it so much. And then for concealer, this is like the only one I have right now that I really like. I'm out of my shape tape and my other ones are getting really low. I need to go and buy another good concealer. Um, this is the um, Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer in the shade number one. Also off camera, I'm going to bake using my Cody Translucent Airspun Powder. You already know. And then I will throw on my brows using my e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. I'm going to go throw all that on and I will be right back. So I like to let everything bake and while that's happening, I'm going to do my eyes. And if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, then you know that I love the Proof is in the Pudding Palette from the Beauty Bakery. I got this in a FabFitFun. I believe it was my 2019 winter FabFitFun. I just think this palette is so pretty. It's got such a really great range of neutrals and it's so easy to create such pretty looks with it. I reach for this palette a lot and um, this is just a great go-to palette. I've been using it a lot recently to just make a really nice fall look. So I'm going to start with the lightest matte shade in the palette called a rice pudding and I'm going to use that to set my lid. First I'm going to buff out the creases and I'm going to take just a nice packing brush and set that all down from the lash line all up to the brow bone just to give a nice base for the rest of the shadow. Then I'm going to take on a good crease brush this shade down here that you can tell I've used a lot called Nana Pudding. Just a really really soft like beigey color. It's going to be a really good crease shade and I'm just going to buff that right in the crease all the way to the inner corner and all the way to the outer corner. The one thing this palette is missing for me is a mirror, but like, it's, that's really not that big of a deal. 
but it would make this palette just that much better, you know? Next, I'm going to take this shade called Mango Pudding. It's kind of the orangey. It's a really soft, muted orange. And I'm going to take it mostly in the outer half of the crease and kind of make a V-shape with it. You know, I'm going to start in the outer corner and bring it halfway in. And then I'm going to bring it down to the lash line. So kind of just making an like a pretty big V with it is what I'm doing. It's a pretty soft color, so I'm not worried about being too precise with it. It's actually kind of getting pretty smoky with it. And a lot of it's kind of getting brought into the, you know, down onto that lid. Now I'm going to take a much smaller brush. It's still a fluffy brush, but it's really quite a bit smaller. And I'm going to take the shade called Warm Cocoa which I love for this time of year. Um, it's just a really dark chocolatey name, which name, really dark chocolatey brown color. And I'm gonna pop that right, just right in the outer V. And I'm not gonna to go too heavy handed. I wanna keep the shade a little softer. I hope everyone is really, really enjoying their fall season. Um, I hadn't really gotten too crazy into the fall festivities until this last week other than decorating the house. I did finally decorate our front porch last week and I really like how it turned out. And then this last weekend, my cousin, he's in town. Him and I went to the pumpkin patch, which was really fun. Haven't really done that in years. I went last year, as I talk about in the vlog, which I will link down below. Um, went with my husband's boss and his family and like that was fun but like I felt like I was just kind of like the third wheel like um, my husband was essentially working when we went so it was like I don't know I just kind of felt like the outsider you know I was just tagging along so I just didn't really get to enjoy myself like I wanted so we went and we had a really good time then we came home and we carved the pumpkins which I legit haven't done in forever the last few times I've gotten pumpkins we we didn't carve them and so that was an absolute blast <laughs> just I don't know I finally feel like we kind of I got gotten into the fall spirit and I'm really enjoying it and then um, let's see now I'm gonna take this fluffy brush. This is just my favorite fluffy brush. It's from the brand BS Small. I got them from Amazon years and years ago. They're just kind of a fairly cheap brushes, but for some reason they're really nice and this is just my favorite blending brush. I don't know why. I think it's the angle. I like the angle and it's a really soft brush, but I'm just going to go and give everything a nice blend together. But anyways, I'm finally kind of getting into the fall spirit. I don't think it's helped that our weather has been unseasonably warm. At the beginning of the month, it was like 85, 90, 95 degrees every day. And then now it's cooled down a little bit to where it's like 70, 75, 80 degrees. So like that's a little bit cooler. And then yesterday morning when I got up and went to work, it was actually foggy out. So that's usually how our fall mornings or our fall days go. Usually it's like cold super cold and foggy in the mornings and then the fog lifts and it gets actually pretty warm in the day and then it gets cold at night again and so it actually felt like a fall day yesterday which was nice i'm starting to get in those fall feels now next i'm going to take the shade called a butterscotch it is the lightest shimmery shade in the palette almost has a little bit of a pinky hue to it not a ton just a little bit um okay so i'm pretty much done with the eyes aside from inner corner highlight and we're going to do that after i set just because that's what i like to do i like to set my skin down and get all that done and then do my inner corner highlight i'm going to go ahead and sweep away all that excess baking now and I did forget to mention that I bake the end of my nose now because of the mask and all that jazz. I'm going to set my skin today using my Cody Translucent Airspun Powder. I've kind of been going back and forth between using this and using my e.l.f. Sheer Tip Finishing Powder. Those are the two um, setting powders I have that are like my shade right now. And I kind of just use whatever is right in front of me at the moment. Or whatever I'm in the mood for, you know, and this is it today. Last night I watched the movie called Instant Family with Mark Wahlberg and... I can't 
cannot remember her name, but she is Seth Rogen's wife in the movie Neighbors. I think her name is Rose something, but I could be totally wrong about that. But basically, they, um, their husband and wife, and they flip houses, and they live, like, this busy life, and they've just kind of spent their life, you know, getting their life together. And, um, all of a sudden, like, they're trying to flip this house for her sister, and her sister make, you know, makes a comment about how they're never going to have kids, and all of a sudden she realizes, like, oh, are we really never having kids? And, you know, it kind of dawns on her that they've never gotten to the point where, you know, they've decided to have kids or to not have kids and so she kind of thinks that she wants to have kids and so they just kind of start thinking about adoption and it's all about them you know going through the process and finding this family and it's really really good if you guys haven't seen it it's on Amazon Prime really good movie um I wasn't sure I was just looking you know scrolling through looking for something to watch I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Beached Bronzer today um if you guys are looking for just a cute you know easy breezy family movie to watch. It was a really good one. I think you might enjoy it because I really did. I got home from my walk last night and it was like 7.30 ish or so and I don't know. I just didn't know what to watch. I didn't want to start a show because I'm not in the middle of any shows right. Well, that's not true. I'm in the middle of originals. I just kind of not lost in I don't know I guess lost interest I don't know like I just don't really feel like watching the originals right now I'm a couple seasons in and just I don't know not feeling it so I didn't want to watch that and I've been watching a free form a ton as I've talked about on my channel but they were playing the Adams family and the Adams family values and something else that I have seen a lot already this year and so I wasn't interested in that and so I just didn't know what to watch and so I was scrolling through Amazon and um, I had watched Sweeney Todd before I went on my walk. I had started a couple nights ago and then finished it before I went on my walk and so then I was like just scrolling through Amazon trying to figure out what to watch. For some reason that had popped up a couple nights ago and so I was like okay you know why not give it a shot see if it's good you know whatever it was just a, a movie so it was like it's not good not a big deal whatever and actually it was really cute I really enjoyed it. Mark Wahlberg's a good actor, and I always like her, and I can never remember what her name is, but I always think she's usually kind of funny, and um, I like the movie. The movie was good. I, I recommend it. It's called Instant Family. I just contoured my nose with the same bronzer, in case you're wondering. Um, let's go ahead and throw on a highlight. So I'm going to be using my two Disney Designer Collection products for my blush and highlight today. Um, these are from ColourPop. Uh, for highlight, I'm going to be using the Horse and Carriage. This is their Cinderella highlight. It's really pretty. It's just a very cool toned, almost, I don't know, almost champagne-y highlight. It's very stunning. The only thing about this highlight, I feel like I have to use the smaller brush. Kind of like the um, Flexitarian from ColourPop as well. I feel like the ColourPop highlights, I have to use this smaller brush to get like the stunning highlighter, otherwise they don't work as well. But when you get the right brush, they're just popping. The blush is the Kiss and a Frog. It's the, um, obviously Princess and the Frog. Really pretty blush as well. I have to be careful with this blush though because I can get really overboard real quick with this blush. Like I don't know what it is but I get like he super heavy handed with it really fast. So it's almost like it's better too for me to layer with this blush. You guys ever do your makeup and then feel like you have like a hair just like lingering around the edge of your nose and it's like you can't see it but you can feel it and you're just like ah! happening to me right now and I'm like I can't see you but you're f I feel you now that my skin is done like I said I usually then will go and do my inner corner highlight um I don't know what it is but I have been obsessed with the um shimmery shade and the Too Faced Hot Butter Rum Palette I'm sure you guys have watched any of my recent makeup videos um the shade is called um whipped cream it's right here in the top corner it's just, I don't know, it's really stunning, and I just have been obsessed with it lately. So it's going to pop that on the inner corner and the brow bone. Like, look at it. It's just really, I don't know, really pretty, and I've just been obsessed with it. 
Also, Sweeney Todd, haven't watched that movie in a lot of years. Kind of a wild movie. I want to throw on a winged liner because I've been doing that a lot lately. I've been using the Maybelline Master Precise liner in black. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that on and I'll be right back. The last thing I'm going to do before I spritz my skin down is take this Mary Kay Mineral Highlight Powder in the shade Pink Porcelain. It's just a powder. It's half pink, half white, and the pink is super pale. And I take this chisel brush, and I don't know why I've been doing this lately. It's just like a banana powder or an under eye brightening powder. And I've just been brightening up those under eyes. I feel like with wearing the mask and I don't know, whatever, I just have been doing this a lot lately. And since this is my go-to look, this is my current look, current makeup look, this is what I've been doing. So I'm showing y'all what I do. Just makes it look a little more bright and alive and awake. And I feel we can all use that right now with all the stress of everything going on in our lives. So now I'm going to go ahead and spray down, uh, let's see, I got the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist sitting right here. So I'm going to go ahead and spray down. And then I always like to, after I set my skin, give my lashes a good coat of mascara. And I'm going to use the NARS Climax Mascara. Of course, now it's time for lashes. So I'm going to throw on a pair of Kiss Lashes. These are in the style Cashmere. Um, these are a really pretty pair of nice flared lashes. They got that inward taper and that outward flare, which are like my favorite style of lashes. Um, they're really thick and gorgeous and just so, so pretty. So I'm going to throw these on and I'll be right back. Still have some lash glue drying, but those lashes are just really pretty. I either wear those or I wear the um, Russian Volume from Kiss. It's either one of those two that I wear pretty much every day. They're very, very similar. The Cashmere are a little bit thicker than the Russian Volume. But let's go ahead and finish this look off with a lip. Um, I've been wearing a lot of kind of darker nude lips. This is one of my faves. It's a little darker than I go a lot of the time, but I still like to wear this one. Uh, this I've had for a couple of years, to be honest. This is Verona from Ofra. Just a really pretty dark nude. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this on. And the last thing I'm going to do to add just a little bit of definition to the lip is take this NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade uh, Baby Doll and I'm going to put a little bit on the center of the lower lip here. I do this quite a bit. It's kind of a staple with the darker lip colors. And then I just rub my lips together and it adds just a little bit of um a little bit of dimension. That way it doesn't look so flat. I really like that. Let me take my clippies out here so I can take my hair down and we can get the full effect of the look here. Alright guys, what do you think? I've been wearing this look a lot lately. Um, it feels so good to get glammed up for the fall. I feel like this is just kind of a staple fall look. You know, that nice dark matte lip with a fun, you know, nice glam neutral eye. And of course the wing I feel like is a fall staple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this look. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And um, I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.